Aloha, my internet family. How are you? Welcome back to Practical Printing and Happy New Year. It is now 2018 and 2018 is going to be a rockin' making year for all of us. So with that said, let's take a look at a practical project to get the year started. Okay, so kicking off the new year here, I have a business trip that's going to be coming up that's going to have me out of the state for a couple of weeks and basically parked in a hotel room at night with nothing better to do. So I thought I would take the Prusa Mark III with me. The problem is, while it has this nice bar across the top, it's kind of awkward and sharp to, on your hands to carry it. So I thought looking at the way that the filament holder attached, I could design a carrying bracket that used the same mounting mechanism that would allow me to carry this much easier. So let's head over to Fusion 360 and see what we can come up with. Okay, we're going to start off by creating a new sketch and then we're going to start off by drawing a rectangle. We're going to make this 40.25 by 6.25 because that upper beam is 40 millimeters by 6 millimeters and we want to add just a little bit of clearance to go around it. Now that's going to be our knockout so we're going to start from there. Now what I'm the way I'm going to show this to you isn't necessarily the fastest or best way to do this but it's a way that a, it's very easy for beginners to understand. So we want to build a frame around this that's 5 millimeters bigger so I'm just going to use the line tool start here and drive a five millimeter line out and then I'm going to use the line tool again and drive a five millimeter line up. Now I'm going to do the same thing with this lower corner. I'm going to go five millimeters out, line tool, and then I'm going to go five millimeters down. Now I have two dots there and I can use my rectangle tool again and I've now created a box on the outside that is five millimeters bigger. Because we don't need these, just to clean it up a little bit, we can delete some of these constraints and actually those lines that we created. The constraints really aren't relative to what we're doing for this one. Okay, now we're going to create one more rectangle here and we're going to make this 5 by 5 which is going to give us our lower lip and we're going to create a line that goes from here to roughly the center point it doesn't have to be exact but somewhere right about there all right, so that gives us our basic frame. Now we can, if we really wanted to, we can delete this. And use our line tool to close all that back up so that we are manifold. Okay. Now we're going to draw one more rectangle here. That's going to go from corner to corner. which is going to give you 16.25 and we're going to make that 90 millimeters tall. That's going to give us a basic framework to go up there. We're going to go over here and use our circle tool and we're going to draw a 15 millimeter circle. Oops, I'm sorry. We want that to be a 30 millimeter circle. Across there. And we're going to use our center point arc tool. We're going to go to the center. We're going to take that out 20 millimeters, 
21 millimeters, excuse me, which we're dealing with the difference in radius versus diameter here. We're going to swing that around so that it's parallel to the arc on that side, and that gives us that top half. Now we can use our line tool to close that off. And if you would like to, you can delete that box that we created. And there we have the basics of our part. Now it's time to try to extrude this. So we're going to hit E for extrude. I'm going to change the angle on this so we can see it. And I'm going to extrude this part up 20 millimeters, or basically 2 centimeters. Okay. Now we're going to drag our timeline back over here. We're going to click Edit our sketch. We're going to hit E for Extrude again. And we're going to take this piece up here. We're going to take that up 10 millimeters. Okay, and we're going to come back over here again. We're going to add one more extrusion to that same sketch. And we're going to angle that and we're going to make that four millimeters. So now when we bring our timeline back all the way across, we now have our piece. Now we can go ahead and modify that if we'd like with a little bit of chamfering just to make it a little bit more presentable. And we're going to try to make sure that we hit all of our edges. Since we have a 0.4 millimeter nozzle, I'm going to do a 0.4 millimeter chamfer there. I'm also going to do the exact same thing for the top. Surfaces. And we're also going to make that a point four. And then we can add a fill it just on these outside edges here, 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 this back corner, and there. And let's see if we can make those a 0.5 round over. Just enough. Uh, let's see if we can go a little bit bigger. Let's see if we can make those a one millimeter. There we go. Make those a one millimeter rounder. There we go, we have our part. Now all we need to do is hit make, 3D print. We're gonna go over here and select all of our bodies. Make sure that send to 3D print utility is not checked, hit okay. And we're going to give it a name on our desktop and just call this MK3 handle. Yes, I wanna replace it and we are done. Now let's send it over to the 3D printer and we'll come back to see how it worked out. Okay, so off the printer we have our brackets and we have a short length of three quarter inch PVC pipe, which fits into the recesses that we made. Now, again, you'll notice both brackets are identical. And the way this will fit onto the printer here is we'll take this, we'll flip it over, we'll attach that from the bottom, we'll kind of measure out where is our center point going to be. We're going to attach one of these and it's just going to clip on the same way. We'll put our pipe in 
and we'll clip the other one on from the other side. So you notice that the weight is distributed between the two so that if there's any twist, uh, <clears throat> so that if there's any twist, oh wait, there's my voice. So that if there's any twist, it basically allows it to, uh, to, to put the pressure on both sides. And we've now got an easy carry handle that you can take your printer with you. When you get where you need to go, simply pop that off. These can slide over here to the side. Stay out of your way. You can stash the handle anywhere that you'd like to. Pop off your filament bracket. And that goes this way since I'm looking at it from the back. Pop your filament bracket back on. And you have a convenient way that you can just store those. Or if you would like, you can even put those over there out of the way. So that's it for today. Um, simple practical print. I hope you guys have enjoyed this and look forward to more projects in 2018. If you like what we're doing here, please be sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the thumbs up. Please feel free to leave a comment down below. I try to at least respond or at least acknowledge every comment when I get a chance. Um, and We'll see you next time on Practical Printing. Aloha.